At the end of the last episode, mother and daughter icebergs, Glacia and Crystal, were in the Arctic Ocean, drifting for their lives. They had just escaped from certain death at the hands of a greedy corporation, the Iceberg Bottled Water Company. But they were certainly not out of danger yet. In fact, they were now faced with an even greater enemy, global warming. It had heated up the water around them and was now melting their bodies. They were both feeling weak and thirsty, very thirsty. Crystal started to slurp at the waves around her neck. Her mother, Glacia, was shocked to see her daughter slurping at the waves. Crystal, stop that. Spit out those waves right now. How many times have I told you never drink warm water? It'll melt you from the inside out. What else am I supposed to do? There's nothing to drink around here. There's no cold water anywhere. I've got to drink something. You can drink all the water you want when we get to the cold stream. The cold stream. When are we ever going to get to the cold stream? Do you see that brown log up ahead? I think the cold stream may be about there. Do logs in the cold stream have mustaches? What are you talking about? That log has a mustache. Listen, you. I am trying my best here. I don't need you purposely irritating me. Mm. Pardon my stomach, ladies. My big old belly gets real noisy when I'm hungry. The problem is, I only had 3,000 clams for lunch. That's half the number I usually eat. Name's Barry, by the way. Mind if I hang my head on your shoulder, big mama? Mm. Don't know what we walruses would do without you icebergs to rest on. Listen, Barney, don't get too comfortable. Uh, name's Barry, big mama. No point trying to remember names. I'm not going to be around much longer at the rate I'm melting. My mother's just having a little self-image problem right now. It's the warm water. It's changing her shape and making her cranky. We need to find cold water fast. Cold water? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm heading for. Matter of fact, me and the guy's been swimming steady for a week now. Heading for the cold stream. We're almost there. You and Big Mama will love it. Oh yeah. It's got the purest, coldest, bluest water you've ever seen. Fine. Send us a postcard. Meantime, my daughter and I have to get back to drifting. So if you wouldn't mind, shove off. You heard the lady. Shove her. What? What on earth are you trying to do? Drown me? Crystal, are you okay? I'm okay, Mom. Chill. They're only trying to save your life. Glacia is surprised to find she's soon enjoying the feel of rubbery flippers against her icy flanks. As for Crystal, she has giggling fits each time a bristly mustache tickles her sides. <laughs> she loves the waves churning up around her. The walruses work in shifts, two hours pushing and shoving, one hour sunning and snoring. Early in the third hour, a frantic seagull appears out of nowhere. <laughs> You're late! Why'd you wait? It's 4.48! Way too late. Late for what? The Big Bang. The Big Bang? That's a movie, isn't it? Why would I want to see a movie? You're telling me there's a movie playing here? No, no, no! Ah! Big Bang! Big waves! Big mess! You'll see. See? See what? You're late! No time to say hello, goodbye, you're late! You're late! Too late! Just then, a white, blubbery beluga whale bursts through the ocean surface. Glacia calls out to him. Excuse me, sir. The Big Bang. Do you know what that is? The big wall of water about to burst. Do you mean we're in danger? Absolutely. Why? Oil exploration, big bubba booms. Stupid. Blubbering idiots blast the sea from a bed looking for oil. Those blasts can boil your brain to bits. Beware, icebergs. 
all the best. <laughs> the beluga escapes just as a massive shockwave caused by the oil company's underwater blasting smashes into glacier and crystal. The impact sends Barry soaring, and he lands on the crest of a wild wave and rides away on it, trumpeting with the light. Glacia and Crystal have been jostled by the wave and are very confused. They don't know which way they should be heading, and the remaining walruses have disappeared. Are we still in danger? Well, let's make a list. A list of possible dangers. That'll be fun, and it'll pass the time. You start. Can you think of one? Um, I guess. I know. How about Barry, the only one who knew the way to the cold stream? He's gone. Very good, dear. That blast didn't affect your thinking at all. Now my turn. Hmm, let me see. Oh, I know. We're still melting. That's two dangers. Can you think of one more? Isn't that enough? Come on, I'm, I'm sure you can think of one more. Okay, final answer. Even if we're close to the cold stream, we have no way of reaching it. Not true. You're there already. Welcome to the cold stream. Seemingly, out of nowhere, a long, sleek ice cream has glided up between them. Kneeling in the stern, holding an ice paddle, is a handsome young native polar bear in a Coast Guard uniform. I'm Ranger Igluk from the Canadian Iceberg Rescue Service Division. We've been tracking your progress. This is the cold stream? How did we get here? We've been searching for this for ages. You can thank the Big Bang for that. Why? The shock wave pushed you right into the cold stream. Can't you feel it? You're headed in the right direction now. My work here is done. You're leaving? So soon? Why can't you stay? You're not the only icebergs drifting helplessly. There's others that need us. But what do we do after you leave? Go with the flow, ladies. You're going to a safe place now, where the ice never melts. 